In this video, I'll show you how you can get your learners to watch a video in its entirety. I got a message from one of my viewers who wrote, when I add a video, I don't want the user to switch to another page until the video ends. How can I do it? Well, today I'll show you two different ways you can do that in Adobe Captivate. I just want to add too, the viewer also wanted to make sure that learners couldn't fast forward or skip through any part of the video. So we're going to include that in this tutorial today. So I already have a video in my library. And the first example I want to show you is using event video. Now, if I go into the library and select my video and drag it over to my slide, I can choose between event video or slide video. So we'll stick with event video for right now and click OK. Now the trick with event video is that event video will give you those playback controls, but you can turn them off. So if we go to our properties inspector and we get rid of the skin altogether, so we just have our video there, the autoplay function is automatically enabled, and of course, the ability to turn it off is grayed out. Now, here's the cool part about event video. Event video is asynchronous with the rest of your e-learning project, so it doesn't affect the duration of the slide. This video happens to be about 15, 20 seconds long, but this is only a three second slide. It's not gonna increase the duration of this slide. But you can enforce, just by not adding any controls, turning off the skin editor so that there are no controls for the learner to skip through the video, what have you. Now, here's the cool part about event video. In the timing panel, you can set, pause the slide till the end of the video. So this will play through and it will automatically transition to the next slide without you having to worry about how long that video is and so on. If you do decide to give people control, they can fast forward or rewind and use the scrub bar. And of course, it will only transition to the next slide once they've actually reached the final frame of that video. Now, the other possibility is to use slide video. Now, slide video, you can add a continue button, but you can decide by using the timeline how soon it shows up. So let's go to our library and get another copy of the video on this slide. In this case, we will use slide video. And of course, I will click on OK. Now you'll see right away that the video starts to play in time with the slide itself. So I can press stop here and we'll just expand the timeline a little bit. And you can see I have this continue button. If I go to my properties inspector, I can select uses button. It's just a smart shape that I've added to the slide with the word continue on it. But by enabling use as a button, it becomes a button that will take you to the next slide. To ensure that learners don't move beyond this slide until they've seen the entire video, you can drag this button past the final frame of the video or right on the final frame of the video. So it pauses, but it also won't appear until the end of the video. So this is useful if you want to delay the appearance of the continue button and prevent your learner from moving on to the next slide. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.